tied more high level into this concept of, of dividing your life in threes, trying to do everything and really trying to make an impact in the world. You can't possibly do everything. And that's something right. that uh, I learned um, relatively recently, but also I think uh, it, it, I was fortunate enough to learn it earlier, early on in my life and especially my career. I realized is if you do everything, you also do all of those things probably at an average level. So if you're able to put focus on certain things and you're able to maybe maximize those chances of success, and then if you're able to succeed in them, maybe you can then table that and, and put that on the side and focus on another set of three items. Mm -hmm. and, and that's maybe how right. uh, it's kind of, at least for me, a better way to tackle the world. So when I describe people, what are my current threes? You have, yes. one is this, uh, my friend, um, my friend Mitchell from Immunify, actually, he, he Oh, it kind of phrases in a really funny way, but the number one pillar is you have to eat. You have to keep yourself alive. in In the modern in the modern context, it's really about making money somehow through through probably a career or some sort of profession, right? So that's yeah. number one. Mine happens to be related to crypto um, at Apple Labs. The second one is socialization. We're human beings. You need to interact with people. Otherwise, you're going to go a little bit of crazy. Um, yeah. It's just the way it is. And so for me, as, as someone who's definitely a little bit more extroverted, I really value that pretty highly. Uh, that's, that's something that balances my life out quite nicely. Um, and, and again, keeps me from going a little bit insane if I wasn't, especially if I wasn't seeing uh, people at all, right? Like who, who actually is, is doing that successfully, not that many. And then the third pillar, at least for me, I found is, is a way to kind of extend yourself beyond some of the mandatories. For me, it's, it's more about creative output. The creative output really balances the first pillar quite nicely, where the first pillar is more rigid thinking, more systemic. And then with creative, it's maybe like photography or music production, where you could really just kind of have an open canvas and try and flex the other side of the brain. So hopefully, if you're able to proceed correctly with this three pillar strategy, you hopefully are a little bit balanced. And um, then the success should be able to come a little bit easier than if you weren't to segment it this way.